Hi everyone, hope you're well. Five years ago, me and my friend Ricardo made a little game that once you looked at it from above, you could use it to learn how to center a thermal. But we never had the chance to actually finish the game or make it available to, to everyone. So I was super happy when Pablo got in touch and said that he had a little idea that he thought I might like. Because I, I was inspired by the initial uh game that you did i think it was with your friend ricardo andre yeah yeah so that you have a little paraglider and you're trying to find the center of a thermal right and you call it center it that's it that's it i mean more than a game i would say micro game or micro simulator this is just the idea so i had the idea i was coding i sit i spend just some hours to make a draft and what i want today is just uh, to get your feedback uh, to see if uh, we should develop it uh, a bit more all right oh here we go yay Oh wow! <laughs> so uh, I don't know. I don't know what the oh. There's a little guy there. I don't know what the. So so this is the this is the thing. This menu I did it in like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, really? Asking uh, everything. It's uh, artificial intelligence generated. The background. Like, even the the two little paragliders. You know, you have some kind of yeah. parachute between parachute and paraglider in the top left. That's also generated with artificial intelligence. And, so. and the center it is floating around. So there's tutorial. Okay, there isn't tutorial. There's sandbox and challenge. These probably could be a bit bigger so you can read it better. But let's see. Click, click, click. Oh, sandbox works. That's the only one that works at the moment. This is the game. You have to center the thermix. But I was thinking, having the thermal static, it's very boring. So I wanted to apply some wind. So that's the idea for the next versions, if we think that this makes sense, to have the possibility of selecting the speed of the of the thermal. And for the controls, I think you will love it or you will hate it, because uh, the way it's working. You know, uh, the controls, the way they're working is the plane is always going to the same rate of turn and you can increase or decrease that rate of turn. That's it, you are applying torque and then if you don't put any input, the angular velocity Continue will... Continue uh, the same, yeah. Exactly. So it will, at the end, if you don't make any input, if you stay like that, you will see that it's making bigger turns and at oh, the end you will finish in, a, in a straight turn. So, so then we see that you were not in the center. It's good, I like it. I mean, obviously we have a plane instead of a glider, but it doesn't really make a difference. It would be nice to have a alti altimeter so that if you get to zero, you lose. And that so that you get rewarded that once you go up in the thermal, you can see your altitude go up. It's kind of basically like a score. And then for the sound, so I did something super quick and dirty, you know, I took my sky beam and I recorded one meter per second sound, two, three, four, until seven meters per second sound. That's why you have this ugly change between uh, one uh, value and another but you know it's just a test so i wanted to see if the idea it's is good or not. i like it i mean i'm not sure it would be nice if if it was smooth both with the sound but also the transition between plus one plus two plus three or whatever uh and it would be nice if there was some kind of background and maybe uh, if it's like a 3d a 2d but like actually 3d thing the higher the glider gets the bigger it gets maybe i don't know so i will spend some hours some more hours on the on the game and i i, I send you another build once i have it ready okay and we test it again together okay center it v0.2 everything's still the same good oh we don't oh okay I'm gonna center it immediately. Hear, you can hear that difference? Yeah, so controls are the same. Uh, trail distance, I like this. Oh, I like this. What I discovered is removing the trail, it makes more harder the game. Yeah, that's the number of seconds the trail is going to stay. Oh, okay. So if you select 60, 60 seconds of trail. If. Uh, yeah. So hint still doesn't work, but that's okay. Yeah, 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 it's working. You see it has a little... Oh, okay, I like it. So I'm gonna go straight to the... Yeah. Oh, you know what would be nice? Uh, to If you push up, your speed bar, and if you push down, is okay, slower, that so that if you're here, like I'm here and there's no sound, and like I'm just in the middle of something, I don't mind trading some altitude for getting there faster, you know? Uh, new thermal, okay, toggle visibility, okay. So the, the thermal still looks similar. And then there's wind, yeah. yeah. small breeze, it's moving. Oh, it's windy. Oh, bunny. It's, so it looks like the wind more... values work, it, it's just yeah. working. That's not from the game. Oh, it's super smooth now. 
But yeah, if we stay in the same place. Oh, you know what's weird? Um, I know what you're going to say. The thermal should should uh, take you with it. Yes, the the plane drifts like the thermal through the wind. I mean, the, the, the sound is a big improvement. It would be nice to have a little thing here so that you can adjust the, the, the volume. Sometimes you might want to play it silent. I was thinking like you have one minute to reach 3000. Or yeah, yeah. you have two minutes to reach 1000 and a half. Yeah. And then you need to go quick, center it quickly. If not, you won't reach the, yeah. the point. And for that, it would also make more sense to swap altitude for speed so you can speed bar it or slow down, you know? Okay, I see. Yeah. Okay, that's a lot of uh, several things to improve, but yeah, it's so, good. I mean, yeah, I think people really, really like it because you get to practice something that is useful in real life. So then we started a new channel on our Discord server just for Centrit, where we shared an initial build with it, uh, and people uh, seem to like it and give some feedback. Most of it was about the way the turning, uh, the controls for the turning, which wasn't quite user-friendly, and also about the background, which there was some help there from Grant. So that was good. And then Pablo did version 0.3 and 0.4. So for 0.3 Android, Android, there is no so much changes. Here we are, 0.4. And yeah, so everything seems much bigger and neater and cooler. Uh, straight into Sandbox. Yes, directly go to the sandbox. Is the oh yeah, this one. is the thing you did on 0 0.3 instructions on what, what stuff works. Oh, and we have the new controls. Okay, yes. let's, let's try it out. Oh, background image. Nice. Look, mouse doesn't do anything and keys don't do anything because we have to use it down here. Very nice. Exactly. Now it's uh, as suggested by some people in the Discord channel. Uh, I implemented a slider for uh, controlling the glider. What do you think? I, th I like it. It's, it's good, it's yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's different. Uh, I I think it's yeah. Maybe it's easier to be more precise because then the the aircraft keeps turning and you kind of can see visually where it is. Uh, yeah, you so can select the the rate you turn you want. Just yeah. keeping the slider there. Yeah, I haven't found anything yet, but uh, yeah, let's take that off and then we'll go there. Just to see. You can use the hint, it's working also. Oh, there it is. The magic sound. Yeah, I wonder what it would do with the hint here. Oh yeah, it's down here. Maybe the hint it's also random. needs to it, be it a little bit smooth. You, yeah. you know, it was easier to see when we didn't have a background, but now with the background, yeah. it's a little bit trickier, but, but that's good. This looks like the UK almost, or maybe somewhere a bit tropical. It is. Flatlands from the UK, uh, thanks to our colleague Grant from the Discord server. He sent me the satellite image. Nice. And we can, if it gets a bit too intense or, you know, we have a baby sleeping next door, you can go all the way to zero, or very light volume, which is nice. Yeah, the trail duration is now set, uh, 10 seconds by default. Yeah, but this change the color to blue. If you go less and less, is it becomes hard mode, right? <laughs> yeah, that's it. You know, I have a nice idea for V5 already, and I think I will surprise you. Oh yeah. Okay. Does it have anything to do with uh, analog controllers? Uh, could be. Because that's a anything. perfect segue into. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. They do obviously PCBs and also PCB component assembly, SMT, which is pretty good. I've used them before for our power controller minis, but they also do, I think it's pretty cool, uh, industrial 3D printing and other things like CNC machining, sheet metal, and even injection molding, which, you know, if your numbers get that big, it's pretty cool to do stuff that you usually can't do at home, like titanium, stainless steel, or even nylon that I've used for the line tuners but yeah it's a pretty cool and easy service to use do your designs and then you get your quotes straight away and this is really well timed because uh, now i have the power controller minis back in stock and pablo asked me to get the power controller mini ready because the next version of centric has some cool features so let's look at it but before that thanks a lot pcb way so here we are with the version 5 andre so i hope you have ready your para controller mini because i have, I have one mine. And oh, it's connected, yeah. <laughs> and we have it already on the website. So let's have a look. Uh, everything the same. Oh, there's version five, and oh, we have little menus that pop up. Very cool. Oh, and it has links and everything. 
Very nice, very nice. Okay, sandbox. This is the, still the same. Okay, next. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, this. Oh, wow. Okay, this is uh, very unexpected. Uh, trail distance. Yes. Turn left. Turn right. Show hide UI. New thermal. Toggle thermal. Dude, this is the most anyone has integrated <laughs> it. I think. I'm using every single button and slider and potentiometer for the him. para controller. This is pretty cool. Oh man. Oh, this is this is. And nice. a new background. By the way, do you, yeah, do, do you, oh, and if I pull on the right and then pull on the left, it does the same as the, exactly. as the paraglider. Yeah. yeah. So it's pretty cool. And again, I'm sorry to go straight into <laughs> new features, but you could Breaks go the, like, as, like, if you're pulling both and it's staying in the yeah. center, it goes slower, right? I knew you wanted to. to so I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and look, I was trying to do this. With no, the mouse, no, no. but actually, woo, 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 it's in the it's in the controller. Well, people, people cannot see it, but you are playing with the potentiometers here for managing the volume, and yeah. this one for the trail. same thing for this. Oh my god, this yeah. is. In this fact, is... if you press the red button, you will hide the UI, Andre. You can press this one and then press oh, it wow. again. Yes. This is amazing. Need, uh... And then if I press this, I get a hint. If I press this, I show the thermal. If I press this, you get a new thermal. Man, this is amazing. <laughs> By the way, do you use your power controller mini with or without uh, elastic bands? I use it with the elastic bands, definitely. Yeah. I like it uh, way more, yeah. This is pretty cool. Okay, so uh, no, no. Yeah, new thermal, okay, new thermal. I'm gonna press it a few times and then try to actually play it. Sure. Okay, three new thermals. I mean, just one new thermal, but three times. So I have no idea where it is. So you didn't find anything yet? I, I can find something here. I'm here on okay, a Okay, I'm not, I'm not listening to your desktop, so that's why. Oh, let me just adjust. Oh, yeah. So remind us the technique, Andre. Um, I think oh, I'm close to getting it. And then, oh no! And then, no. ta -da! Yes, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> the 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 getting the goal that has to be like manual at the moment, wait. But it's really handy to have uh, have the controls on the power controller mini. Man, this is awesome. Um, what do you think, like, uh, what, what would you like people to, to do with this? Obviously, uh, people can go in and practice it. They can play it just with a keyboard and mouse or mouse and the power controller mini, but it, it should help uh, people starting out getting an idea of how, how it feels to, to get thermals, right? That's it. And I would like to have more feedback about the way of controlling the glider. Maybe there is there a better way of doing it than with the slider. Uh, mm -hmm. We are already getting more feedback on, on the Discord channel. So I invite the people to join the Discord and to provide us feedback and to join us there. It's uh, super fun and we are having super interesting discussions there. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we're going to have links to all of the things. But yeah, man, super, super well done. I think... There is one thing to learn about something because someone told you. I can even imagine the lift here. I'm, I'm following the ridge. Yes, that would be awesome if we can match the thermal generation with the map that we are showing. And if you say, OK, there's lift here from the right. So when it hits this hill, you know, you can <laughs> instead of having thermal, instead of having a thermal uh, game, it's just a ridge lift game. Yeah. Anyway, well, this is this is very cool, dude. Uh, we'll have it's way more fun with the para control. So much better. You have so such good control and fine. And I go whoop. Okay, straight away. And then I'm just I'm just ridge soaring here. It's very intuitive. You know, and if you use the the code promo por las alturas, you get a ninety percent discount on your para controller only today. So <laughs> you know what? We could do we could totally do that by the way. If you if should we do like a ten percent off discount code Why not? por yeah. las alturas? 
Yeah, why not? Exactly. And maybe we can give you 15% off if you can tell us what Por Las Alturas means. <laughs> so <laughs> Spanish speakers get a little extra. Can you apply a pro promo codes in your website? Yeah, yeah. This is going to be a thing. Like we are going to have promo code Por Las Alturas. All right, that's it. Pretty cool start if you ask me. Uh, thanks a lot for Pablo for putting all this together and for making it available. We actually put it on the website, so there'll be links everywhere. So go and check it out if you want to play it. Uh, any feedback will be greatly appreciated. Uh, there will be a form there somewhere or you can leave it down here in the comments. And if you're interested in the Spanish version, you can go to Pablo's YouTube channel and you can find a video about this as well. And you can leave comments there as, as well. As always, I want to say a big thank you to all these people on Patreon and YouTube memberships for supporting the channel. Big thanks to Pablo for putting it together and we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.